Welcome back to the Scratch Add-ons YouTube channel, and uh, I'm Cool Scratcher. You may recognize me from the past video that I've done, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at everything new in Scratch Add-ons version 1.15. It's a pretty cool update. There's a lot of stuff going on, so yeah, this should be pretty interesting. I'm going to start by installing Scratch Add-ons, so we'll go ahead to the website scratchaddons.com. Quickly go ahead and install Add to Chrome. Add extension. There we go, it's added. Let's see this welcome screen. And right, let's get down to business. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pin it because it's it works best that way in my opinion. So um oh and now I need to log on to scratch. Right now I've logged on to scratch and everything. I can go ahead, click it like this. Um, and then click on these the settings cog and this opens up this whole settings page and right let's get down to this, these new changes the first add-on is do not automatically run duplicated blocks we can see it right over here and this bug actually has been um, you know there in scratch for a whole two years and um, scratch hasn't really done anything about it for some reason um, but um, but Scratch Add-ons has a solution. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you this. So <laughs> you don't need to open this. This is just an, this is just um, the, you know, the issue that was opened by this person over here. And this is an ex and this is an example of what happened um, when you tried to duplicate a block and attached it to an existing stack of blocks. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the bug and then I'll show you the fix. Now here if I quickly go ahead and build a really short and simple project if I go ahead and right click duplicate whoa okay I, don't, I do not want that to happen um, so obviously when you right click duplicate and then drop a block onto a stack it's gonna run it and that's that's not really intended that's not well um, that's not good so <laughs> so yeah so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and enable this add-on and now if I duplicate it and bring it to the bottom Whoa! Look at that. It doesn't go anywhere. So this is um, this is a fix to this, to an existing scratch bug. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's a relief to finally see that fixed. It's it's been there for so long. Next up, we have block transparency um, over here. And this actually, uh, you might, if you've worked with like. Um, if you've worked like with like code.org and stuff, you might recognize this. Um, uh, so if I just drag out this one green flag clicked, this looks fairly fairly normal. But if I drag out this, attach it to this, looks fairly fairly normal. But if I take this move ten steps out, whoa, it gets all transparent because it's not attached to anything. It's like it's not gonna work. And this is um, this is actually kind of what happens in code.org. Um, or you know any of the any similar block based program um, so yeah here as since this is scratch add-ons there are a ton of um, adjustable features here so if I want the orphan transparency to be like 90 I don't know I'm being weird and if I want the drag tan transparency to be 50 Whoa, that is barely visible, but now if I'm dragging it around, it's like, wee, I can see, I can see what I'm dragging, and that's really useful, I think. Next up, we have control click to run script. So if I go ahead and enable this, go back to my weird thing over here, and uh, I'm gonna build a quick program. And um, if we click it, oh, oh wait, look at that, it's not running, and that's because I have this add-on enabled. So if I hold down control and then I click, uh, it's it's gonna work. My, my weird program is gonna work. Um, that was me saying, yeah, if you didn't realize. So yeah, that, it's gonna work like that. Oh, and if you're on a MacBook or the Mac operating system, you need to hold down the command key instead of control since Macs don't have the control key. So hold down command and not control. And then it will run uh, like this. It will run like that. Um, I'm gonna put this annoying recording. Next, we can next we can filter messages on Scratch's message message page. Um, I don't know why I mean I don't know why I, it was so hard to say that. Okay, I'm gonna enable this and I'm going to go to the Scratch. I'm gonna go to my messages, and here we can see that we can 
you know, enable these. So say I want to only see who followed me. I don't know. So now we can see um, these are only the messages that I got um, in my lifetime or in the time that I had the Scratch account. And these are just all the people who followed me. Next, um, we have uh, an update to the message count uh, in extension icon. Um, this has been here for a while, but uh, it is recommended, so it's turned on. Um, uh, we can now um, uh, customize this badge color, so we can make it this, I don't know, light, light, the, I don't know, this color. And there's also these presets, like this old light green, blue, black, and we can reset it to any of these things. Oh, and in, this, is the ch this is the default color, so if I go ahead and do this, um, oh no, if I go ahead and do this, it's like set in stone. So, yeah. So now there's this update to, um, so if you did something wrong and the Scratch team sends you a message, then the Scratch um, extension will actually notify you. So if I click over here, you can see I have one message from the Scratch team. Oh no, what did I do? I did something wrong. So this isn't actually the message that appears. This is just my weird message from the thing. I, this is a fake, I, I, I faked this. This isn't actually, I didn't actually get a message from the Scratch team, but this is just an example of how it would look if you actually got a message from the Scratch team. So that's pretty cool. It's highlighted, it's up at the top, so you won't be able to miss it. And it's probably something important since it's from the Scratch team. Next in the confirm actions add-on, which again has been here for a while, a pretty long while, um, we have this new option that says confirm closing forum topics. So if I that, and I don't have any open scratch topics that are able to be closed, but if I did, then I would be able to do that. So as an example here, um, if there's an open thing and I, um, if there's an open, I don't know, discussion and I go ahead and it's been there for a few days, so it's able to be closed and, uh, I close it by accident, I can't really bring it back. I don't think you can reopen a post. Um, uh, I mean, there, there's probably a way. I, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But um, but yeah, for this, um, it's going to ask you if you really mean to close your, you know, your topic so you don't need to go, th go through the process if there is one of reopening a forum post. And for the gamepad support add-on, um, which I um, covered last video. There's this new um, uh, there's this new option that says hide settings button when no control is detected. I'll go ahead and enable that, and I'll um, go back to Scratch, click on this random thing, and oh my gosh, no, there's no icon. Uh, so this is because this is enabled. If I disable this um, and I refresh. This, oh, okay, that is kind of weird, but, <laughs> but you can see that, um, yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a controller. And that is all of the major updates in Scratch Add-ons version 1.15. Um, you can see, uh, you can see that, um, there's been a lot, there is a lot, and yeah. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Someone is probably going to answer them and they will probably be correct. Um, I'll probably be in the comments. I'm in the comments for like every single one of the Scratch add-ons videos. Well, at least every single one that I'm in. So yeah, I'll be in the comments. I might be some answering some questions. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the Scratch add-ons YouTube channel because why not? Um, Scratch add-ons is awesome and it, uh, yeah. Also, I don't know when this happened, but this, this is just, I don't know whether this is just my own thing, but when did this appear here? I'm not sure, but it must have appeared here somewhere and it actually, oh dear. Well, okay. But, um, I don't know why that happened, but when was this here? I, I don't remember this being here. I do not know why this is happening. I'm just going to stop the recording.